Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and today we have a quick video. It's a bit of a celebration for me as well. Cypress 12 has now been released, and the big update for me is cross origin testing is now at the general availability stage, and that means it's out of experimental mode. As a big celebration, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to the end of the video to learn more about the extra updates that have come with Cypress 12. So before we just jump into it, what's the point of cross-origin testing? The point of this is to allow you to visit another domain. You can actually whatever you need to do on that domain and then return to your desired web page. Typically, this is done for things like authentication, where your site might have a third-party auth provider where you need to log in, and then after that, you go back to your site. Previously, there were limitations to Cypress's architecture that didn't allow us to do cross-origin testing or they tried it and it was an experimental mode, but now it's a fully fledged feature. Okay, so in this test, let's go to Google. So let's say save it and we'll go to google.com. Let's just tab that in. Great. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna accept the cookies, I'm gonna search for my YouTube channel and I'm going to click on it. So then that should take us to the YouTube domain, which is different to Google, which means we'd hit this cross origin issue. Okay, so I'm on Google and I just want to find what I need for this. Let's just get this class a second. Let's go back to VS Code and let's say sci.get class we just copied, so we can use it. We'll say doc contains uh, what the text was, which was accept all. And we'll click that. That's just to accept the cookies. I'm just trying to get off this page so I can do a search. We go back, click accept all. I want to get the search bar here. And we'll just use the class again. Take that class. Nothing new here. We're just building up our test to get into the point of doing the cross origin. So, so class. And then we'll type into there. Uh, what I'm going to search for the YouTube channel or commit quality. I'm going to search YouTube and we also want to hit enter here. So let's say enter, which will actually hit the enter key for us, which should do the search. So if I now copy this and we should see this commit quality hyphen YouTube section. So we can just click, click there one. So let me copy this and here we will say sci.contains doc click oh not clear doc click so what we should see then is if we go back to google and we click on it we should be navigated to youtube which is that different domain in this case we navigated to this consent youtube.com which is completely fine um, and we want to click accept all so let's try that let's grab values just in case there's more than one text with accept all We'll take this class and we'll say sci.get contains accept all or click. So now here, let's add a comment and say on a different master domain. So what we're going to find is when we run this test now and we try to click the accept all button, which is on that consent YouTube form, uh, we should see a Cypress error, which basically says we've gone to a different origin. Uh, we need to scope these actions inside the origin. So let's give that a go. Let's say npx Cypress open in the terminal. Write that over and we'll do end-to-end -end testing, electron, and start the testing. Uh, let's just find the example file we are using and click onto it. So like I said, we're expecting to see failures here. You can see it's gone through, great. It clicked. It's looking for commit quality YouTube, it's clicked it, and now it's trying to get the class with the text of accept all. And we can see here it's timed out after trying for four seconds. The command was expected to run against origin, which is google.com. But the application is at originconsent.youtube. And this was the problem we had before. Uh, you couldn't really get around it unless you were using the experimental feature, which, like I said, now is all okay. 
it gives us um, nice commands of what we have to run here as well. So let's just copy this. And here, let's say sci.origin. We can remove these commands now. And instead, we'll move this one inside here. And we'll hit save and go back to Cypress. And what you can see now is it's gone there. It's clicked accept on the separate origin. And it's gone to my YouTube channel, which if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Now, what I can do then is I can go back to Google. So I can say outside of this origin block, just go back to Google. Let's clear up some of that white space. Hit save. And what we'll see now is it goes to the YouTube channel. Once it's done all these checks, and it goes back to Google and continue doing whatever I want to do with my tests. So we talked about this in the start of how you might use this in a real world application. So you might visit your web page, you might do some actions and then need to sign in. At that point, the sign in is taken to a third party or say it's using Google's or you would then use the SciOrigin command to do your authentication, which would then redirect you back to your original app in our case it's google and then you can continue doing the testing i'm really happy this has finally made it to general ava availability as well it is worth noting if you have used this feature in experimental mode because the feature is in general availability it means that the flag you used to have to set in the config i think it was experimental session and origin that's now been removed and is no longer needed which is fantastic news like i said this is huge to me since when I was looking at converting legacy Selenium tests, the reason Cypress was not an option was due to this issue where we had to go out to uh, different origins. I'm really pleased they found a way to kind of work around this huge block and bake it into their architecture. It's fantastic. Now, I do want to note there are more updates with Cypress 12 as well. So I'll put a link in the description, but let's load that up. So here we are. We have the Cypress 12 announcement. We've already talked about cross origin, which is you know the big one for me. There's another big update with test isolation now being default, which means that Cypress now resets the cookies, storage, and the page state before each test. So any test that relied on the browser to be at a certain state, like from a previous site visit or something else, they will not work with the new test isolation behavior. And this is considered kind of better practice to have tests not rely on each other. Now, I should say this can be changed via a global config file. Um, I'm happy to create a video on this if anyone needs more info, but you can check all that out in the documentation here. Another huge change as well is a fix for an issue that I'm sure everyone will have seen if you've used Cypress plenty. It's the detached DOM error. The DOM logic has been enhanced now basically to requery new elements that might have replaced the old elements due to DOM updates. This will or this should lead to tests being more reliable. In all honesty, I'm yet to see this in action, but fingers crossed it does make life a lot more easier. For more in depth information as well, visit the link in the description. And if you find it useful, a subscribe and like is always appreciated. If you do have any questions on Cross Origin or any of the other features we've talked about, just drop a comment below. And thank you for watching.